What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. Today, we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a Blu-ray release that just came out called The Leech from 2022. Let's check it out. Now, The Leech I got from MVD Entertainment here. They do distribution for Arrow Video in the States. And we got the promo copy here, which comes in these clear plastic cases and just sort of a, a sheet, you know, a kind of about the Blu-ray to come out. But these are exactly like the Blu-rays that you get. They're just before they're gone to print, basically. Now, I don't get the supplemental booklet that comes with it and the packaging and all that other stuff, but it is to kind of give you an idea of what is in the Blu-ray and what I thought of the movie. So first up, the Leech is a movie about a devout priest who welcomes in a homeless couple who starts to kind of wreak havoc on his life around Christmas time. And what begins as a simple act of kindness to this couple quickly becomes the ultimate test of his faith once things become more and more disastrous. The movie is directed by Eric Pennykoff, who also did a movie called Sadistic Intentions, which also has Jeremy Gardner in it and his wife, Taylor Gardner, who just, they just got married. We also have Graham Skipper, who plays the priest in this movie, and everybody is kind of bouncing off each other. There's a very small cast in this movie. There's really only like four characters, but this is another sort of uh, pandemic movie. Now, as far as the Blu-ray is concerned, it's coming out December 6th, so you can pick it up for yourself. There are a lot of extra features features that come with it. You get a collector's booklet featuring a new writing on the film of Julianne Stipitus. Uh, it also has an exclusive introductions to the film by Pennykoff and Skipper, which are just very short intros. There is the making of behind the scenes footage of the film set, which I watched, which is pretty fun. They got the Rigo music video one of the characters in the film named Rigo it's his actual real name as well he's in this film he does some rapping which is really funny uh the the video is actually really hilarious <laughs> and what does he go by little rapture <laughs> Shit cracks me up, man. <laughs> we also get The Voice of Reason, which is a brand new interview with Penny Coff and actors Graham Skipper. There's like The Unfortunate, The Pod, and Phase 2, three early short films of Penny Coff by Pennykoff, audio commentary with writer, producer, director, Eric Pennykoff, producer, Scott Smith, live Chattanooga Film Festival, audio commentary. There's a virtual Q&A with director Eric Pennykoff and the cast at the Chattanooga Film Festival. We got another introduction and Q&A from the film's international premiere at Fright Fest in 2022. Preaching to the Void, a brand new visual essay exploring the leech and Pennykoff, earlier films by critic Anton Bittel. We get Lossless DTS, HD master audio 5.1 and you also get the 2.0 stereo so we also get the subtitles hard of hearing the high definition blu-ray obvious and the reversible sleeve featuring the newly commissioned artwork by haunt love now i just watched this movie and uh, i gotta say it is actually pretty dark comedy about this priest who's you know he invited these people in they are taking liberties because they are living a very different lifestyle than he but you sort of start to find out that there's more to this priest and that he's got a past that is kind of soiled as well and these two people that come in and kind of take over his house are really starting to make bad habits reappear that weren't there previously now there is elements of other different sort of genres in here not just comedy and uh, thriller or horror um, there are supernatural elements possibly there are other things in this movie that might make you question what is exactly going on but it is a very independent film that is you know the acting i think is actually pretty decent there jeremy gardner in particular and graham skipper are really uh, have been i've seen a lot of movies that they've been in also taylor gardner is really good in this as well i mean everybody's really doing pretty decent in this film they they're doing some very characterized versions of these people 
So there's going to be a lot of improv that is added into sort of the script that this movie is about and the devolving of this entire relationship between all three or four of these people, which is pretty good. Now, at first, I was kind of struggling of where this was going to go, but I kind of knew that since this was sort of a holiday horror film, that it was going to go bad pretty quickly. And it does devolve into that eventually, into the grand finale of, you know, sadism. <laughs> but there are some really I'm a dark comedy person and while there may not be clues that you should laugh in this movie there are definitely scenes in which this movie makes you laugh some of the more tragic moments in fact between Jeremy and Graham are <laughs> man I started cracking up man and, and Taylor has some pretty funny stuff in there too there it's not stuff that you should feel comfortable about laughing I've seen other reviews that said they felt very uncomfortable with this movie and duh <laughs> uh, this isn't a sacrilegious movie necessarily but it definitely has uh where people are teetering on good and bad and there's sort of like a messaging in here that our symbolism maybe i should say that some of these characters sort of carry and uh, you kind of wonder who's actually the worst of the bunch so i found it actually pretty damn funny i laughed out loud for a good minute uh over one part involving jeremy and graham's performance <laughs> when he reveals to him that something they did the night before and it it's really fucked up and i i just couldn't stop laughing <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is this a, a comedy, comedy movie? I mean, no, I would tone your expectations down on that a little bit. This is a very specific, maybe niche, dark comedy that maybe some people might get and some might not. Some people might laugh at, some might not. There is a very thrilling unwinding that is going on here. So there is somewhat of an atmosphere. There is a lot of different types of shots in this film that I wouldn't say are necessarily popular in the bigger scheme of filmmaking like the mainstream sense this is very much shot in like a very indie way there's a lot of low shots to make everybody kind of look menacing during certain areas that i think there uh, is some lighting in the film that is kind of hard to see what's going on exactly but adds to the sort of atmosphere in this indie film which i didn't mind i don't think it's necessarily a bad choice or anything it's just a stylistic choice i think this is a pretty decent film to watch for the holidays but it didn't blow me away it just was nice to see jeremy gardner and graham skipper and i've kind of gotten a new appreciation for taylor gardner as well so it's it's interesting what uh, they did with this film you know obviously it's condensed into a smaller version because of the pandemic nothing new to indie film obviously but just something that they did for the sake of this film and there's a lot of movies with uh, graham skipper and jeremy very small condensed movies and done some really wonderful stuff with them by the way so these aren't always the you know the 10 out of 10 movies or the 9 out of 10s but there's something to be said about some of the performances in here even if it is kind of on a sort of indie level acting level their performances are still really good and that's hard to explain to somebody who maybe watches too much mainstream films but if you watch enough indie films you really kind of know what I mean by that now just to be clear on this movie this isn't a gore fest or anything like like that there is some blood in it but it's mostly more of the psychological thriller aspect and the supernatural elements that they're kind of teasing with that you can make up your own mind about in the movie that makes it horror but i think if you, you lower your expectations just a little it really is actually carries you through the film pretty decently and has a decent pacing to it and there are some pretty fucked up fun situations that happen in this movie i mean jeremy garner just goes for it man and he is just like on the spot like that's his acting style he's just good at getting into that character he really gets in deep and so does graham in a way too like they he really commits to the role and has part nice and part nerving there's this balance between him and and what's going on that is kind of the interesting part of his acting role let's put it that way 
But yeah, I enjoyed the film. I would probably give this like a seven out of 10. It, like I said, it didn't blow me away, but it is something that I would rewatch. And I did have a good time watching. Just know that you're watching an independent film and that these aren't going to be mainstream big budget. Uh, these are smaller ideas made to be more interesting with actors who can really dedicate themselves to the roles that they're playing and get into it. And I, I definitely think it's funny. My humor may not be everybody's and their humor may not be everybody's, but it was for me and my particular humor. And like I said, when you see that scene, you will probably crack up like I did. It's just, it's just so funny to me. I don't know why. In the darkest, most fucked up way. It's just how cavalier and, and casual that he says it. <laughs> It just is so great. But yeah, if you would like to pick up a copy, you can pick it up at any one of your places online. There's Arrow Video, obviously. And of course, I would highly recommend going to MVD Entertainment. They have sales all the time, and you can pick up a copy that Arrow does distribution through them, and I will put a link down below. Thank you, MVD Entertainment, for sending this out. Thank you, Arrow Films, for sending out the promotional copy for me to see. But other than that, let me know what you think. Have you seen the trailer for this? Were you interested in this? Is this going to be part of your holiday? Do you think that you'll check it out this year for the holiday season? I think it has enough in there, uh, you know, holiday-wise, that it should satiate quite a few people, I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe subscribe button plus the little bell notification to let you know when i have a new video up i plan to have more we're trying to get back in the swing of things and uh we're going to be doing our top 20 movies i think of the year on the podcast so be on the lookout for that but uh yeah thanks for coming by and as always long live the void